Hey, this is Corey with the High Crowd Gaming, and we are playing a little Until Dawn for you today. Just came out, so we figured throw a video up. Uh, it's just going to be me today. Um, if you like what you see, throw us a like and subscribe. Uh, we put out videos pretty much on a regular basis. Uh, I have played about five minutes of this game till I got to a point, and I realized that maybe we should record this, so I'm going to go ahead and start over new and fresh. Try not to talk through any of the uh, cutscenes and any of that, but, you know, we're going to experience this together, so, <clears throat> Let's see how it goes. I know the game is very heavy, heavily reliant on uh, choices you make affecting the gameplay, and it tells you that quite a few times. Even this is a demonstration of it. But so far, I really like the game. It reminds me a lot of Heavy Rain. I don't know if any of you guys played it. But uh, this is uh, seems to be an improved version of that. Your story is one of many possibilities. I do like that. It means it has a lot of replay value. You can uh, play it over and over again. I'm going to play this as if it's me going through all this crap. I don't know much about the story other than something's killing people. So let's see here. There's already somebody with a machete. So there's oh, that. God, I can't believe you actually did this. Shh, shh, shh. I can't believe you actually did this. Oh, come on, she deserves it. It is not her fault that she has a huge crush on my Hannah's hands. been making moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, and Just because he's class pres doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. I am. I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. Does that girl look so nervous? Hannah! <laughs> What's that guy have? No. I'm in here. It's Hannah. Here I am, standing alone in this dark room. Alright, so this is about where I quit. <clears throat> this guy. There's two of them? Hey, did you see that? Dad's One guy had a machete, that guy looked like he had a uh, sawed off shotgun. Josh. Oh, and I got control, look at this. See something flashing over there. Do anything over here? Button those yoga pants though. Something flashing. This feels a lot like heavy rain. Press R2 to grab stuff. Turn it. Alright. Jeez, Josh. <laughs> Once again, brother, you've outdone us oh. all. I wonder if that's her real brother. Let's see if we can go through that door, hopefully. Let's see what we got over here. Fireplace! It's romantic. Got some weird paintings. Nothing. Oh, oh. And okay, that's far we can go. There's nothing in here for me to inspect, huh? Nothing back there in between the table? Alright, alright. Oop! What we got here? What do we got here? Flip that shit over. Hannah, you look so damn hot in that shirt. Maybe better to do. Oh, oh, Mike. Oh my god. What did our naive sister get well, no herself into now? No wonder she thinks you like her. I got your note. 
What up, girl? Yeah. I got these Maybe teeth. We should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. What? Oh, this girl's so awkward. Who does this? Oh my god. She's taking her shirt off. What? Oh my god. Matt? Oh. What are you doing here? Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. Hey, it's all got out of hand. What is happening? Uh, so they're gonna try and film him banging, I hope? Wait, did I say I hope? <laughs> Freudian slit. Wait, was she just outside? Okay. What am I choosing? Wake Josh? Yeah, let's wake this guy up. Josh! Josh! Get up, you drunk piece of shit! Fuck. Guys, there's someone outside. She ran Where's outside into the fine. She just what? A joke. It was just a over a little bit of. They didn't even see your what titties. You You're running outside in the dark. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Oh Hannah. my god! Hannah! Now I gotta chase her. I'm assuming. Her. You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Oh, oh shit! There we go. What is it? Where? The next one. What is it? Huh? Go safe. Trash down those stairs. <clears throat> oh, okay. I see some footsteps. There's some big ass footsteps, though. I don't think she's taking those footsteps. Let's follow these footprints. Where are you going? Okay, we got some deer. Okay. Jesus! Fuck! Shit! Damn it, Hannah! Where are you? What the fuck are you doing, Hannah? How old are you? This is not how you respond to something like this. Running off into the goddamn woods in the middle of the night. That's pretty cool, I guess. Hannah. Gotta use it for something. Okay, I can direct the beam other places. Alright. Oh. Boy, I want to walk faster. You got it. There's something over there on the ground. Yeah, that's all I forgot. Yeah. You gotta pick it up and turn it around and look at it. Oh, shit. Shit. A death totem. This music is super creepy. Oh, hey, big fireball. Should we walk towards that? What's that? Hannah. That's her. Hello. Hannah. Oh my God, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. She's got a butterfly <laughs> tattoo. What the fuck is going on here? It's like I don't want to watch too much of the vi drop the phone, girl. I don't want to watch too much of the visuals. I gotta prepare to press some buttons. Well, 
No good. No. No. This is no good. No. No. Oh shit! That definitely does not look good. I'm not gonna draw a pin and go up to that guy, so peace out, Girl Scout. I'm just gonna. Oh, dead. Yeah. That was a girl from the vision. Oh, shit. Wait, are we both dead? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, she's dead. Analysis. Before we begin, there are a few things I need hey. to make sure you Yeah, understand. it's that guy. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors what? to the future. Man, they really like to, to drive home this. that uh, remember this choice and consequence thing. That sweater every vest, though. You can see the damn stitching on it. Fate of those around you. Oh. So, I feel like I can smell his breath. You to commence with this game. This is and I want to help you see it through. Okay. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Okay. Hmm? All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up a card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about <clears throat> it. It is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Okay. Weird. Why am I wearing gloves? It's a barn and a scarecrow, and the scarecrow has a creepy look. Oh, and he has a hook for a hand. Okay. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. I'm wearing a hat. I feel uneasy. Okay, honesty is good. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? Um. Well, I definitely say it's that scarecrow. So. Well, I see. I see. Let's see. Your words are already written down. Scarecrow, we're not there. Will you feel comfortable staying there on your own for a period of time? Say a week, for example. A week? Sure. Huh. And what if I told you that this cottage was haunted? Haunted? Hmm. I'd be scared. Oh. All right, all right. I sense that you suffer from a significant <laughs> fear of of the supernatural. What lies beyond the veil of death is, after all, the ultimate unknown. Don't you agree? And what could inspire fear more Those than graphics. the terror of uncertainty? The graphics are so good. Please remember. It's only a game. <laughs> well, we seem to be out of time for this session. But we'll talk again very soon. Okay? Okay. You gonna go have a seat? No? I'm just gonna stare out your window. All right.
Oh, here's the beginning of the game. Super massive games. So far, I like this game. Oh, that girl! Kate Infinitary, isn't she from uh, Heroes and Malcolm in the Middle? Don't know that guy. <clears throat> Where are any of them? Both of those, however. of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. Listen, there's an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls the left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. I don't know about that. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Hey, just riding this bus by myself. My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Yeah, sure, it's horrible. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Well, thank you for joining us, Andy. For the whole of Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Radio from the Pines. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. Who's this guy? All right. Well, hey, hello, I know that guy. What movie have you been it's in, guy? It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood you sound like Winter that? Getaway. Ah, getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room. Your dead eyes really freak me out. I know. You're all probably worried about me, and I know it's going to be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but I just want you all to know, um, what? it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this, and that uh, I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, and I'm thinking of them. Isn't this I been really like a two-year thing? Like time with e each and every one of you, and um, just getting all sentimental over going to a cabin a second time in a row. For, for the sake of my sisters, and you know. What's up with your mouth? Okay. You sound so, funny. Okay, let's go. Let's party like we're fucking porn stars. Okay, make this one trip we will never forget. All right? Yes. Yes. about that name. <laughs> Excuse me. Here's your stop, beautiful lady. Ten hours until dawn. All right. 
Well, that was quick. This guy doesn't fuck around. I saw you get off the bus. I'm gonna come kill you now. Consider it adventurous. Okay, continue. Hello? Someone there? Oh, duck down. They didn't see us. Alright, I think we're going to cut it off here and we'll pick up the next video right here. Um, like I said, like and subscribe if you uh, if you like what you saw off the video. We're going to put more up and hopefully you guys will enjoy those too. Um, I've got really nothing else for you. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.